Did you know that right under my feet, there are thousands and thousands of gallons of water? This groundwater is found in aquifers. Aquifers are a combination of gravel, rock, and sand. These rocky stones hold the water in the soil. Builders can drill wells into these aquifers to provide water for homes, farms, and industries. Underground aquifers contain far more water than all the surface reservoirs and lakes in the U.S., including the Great Lakes. In some areas, the groundwater is the only source of fresh water for people and ecosystems. It does get filled back in, but slowly, over hundreds and sometimes thousands of years. Unfortunately, right now, people are pulling the water out of aquifers faster than nature can refill them. But now, with new technology, like NASA's GRACE mission, which can measure groundwater levels from space, we can really see what we are doing to our groundwater. We can see groundwater from space? How is that possible? The GRACE satellites detect small changes in the Earth's gravity, caused by water moving on and beneath the Earth's surface. Thanks to these satellites, we can now detect where groundwater supplies are being threatened. For example, this map shows the area where aquifers are being sucked dry to water crops during an intense drought. Because of this, the ground in Central Valley of California is actually sinking. Besides monitoring the level of aquifers, we're improving the ways we can fill them back up. One way is what is called groundwater recharge. That's when we use ponds or wells to put water back into depleted groundwater aquifers. This is really useful during a drought. Some places, like Santa Clara County, California, are experimenting with ways to put water back into their underground aquifers. Normally, the Santa Clara Valley Water District puts over 30 billion gallons of water back into their aquifers each year. Now they have future plans to use recycled water to recharge their aquifers. This may mean an additional 15 billion gallons of water for their aquifers. What other solutions can you come up with to make sure that we have enough water in our underground aquifers for thousands of years to come?